when Kairos Tonga dominates in the middle, it makes it really tough. This is uh, Utah State's first drive offensively, and it is third and one on the 43-yard line. And I want you to look at Kairos and the way he takes on this double. And I want you to look at Kavika Fanua because he's more aggressive now up to the line of scrimmage. So right there, Kairos getting doubled and holding his ground. Okay, right there. Double having to break off because Kavika reads his keys and gets up the line of scrimmage. Kairos fights off that double and makes that play right there. You should be able to get a first down. It's third and one, and you're running against a three-man front with just one linebacker. You should be able to power. Look at this hole off the set. Double, double, nice wide hole. You should be just flying downhill and be able to get this first down. That's why I think teams that run power sets are going to break the three-man front uh, against BYU because you can get there if you're flying downhill, but this just takes too much time to develop. And Kavika does a really good job of forcing him off the double at the line of scrimmage, not breaking off the double and, con and collisioning back here, which is what we saw from BYU. But look how Kavika comes flying up, contacts at the line of scrimmage, forces the running back to, to, um, to stop, and then Kairos got him right there. Should have been. A, I, I don't know how Utah State can't find a first on a third and one. But fantastic job by that big man right there.